Good morning, everyone. So today, sound doesn't work for a little bit, so we're gonna head to some, uh, what are they called? Outlets, the outlet mall. It's literally right on the border of Mexico, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, should be fun. All right, oh, look at my little baby hairs. Oh, dearie. Like I mentioned in my Instagram story, um, my hair's growing back from, what it, from when it was falling out uh, while I was breastfeeding. So huzzah for that. However, I don't know what to do with these little baby hairs, but that's all good. I'll take what I can get. So we're gonna make some of my very favorite protein balls. Um, they're so easy. No baking, no anything. You just mix the ingredients, put them in little balls, put them in the freezer. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, these are our ingredients. First of all, um, I, you could do so many different flavors of protein balls. I kind of like the chocolate peanut butter flavor. It tastes a lot like uh, Reese's Pieces or anything chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> this is all that I added in. Is, so I have protein powder. This is the one I use. I will link it down below. It's from Amazon. It's a really good price and it's good protein powder. So usually with protein balls you want to make them as healthy as possible and usually people if they're using peanut butter will use like a nut butter like almond butter or cashew butter or whatever. We don't have that. We're living very frugally right now. So I just have regular peanut butter. It's crunchy too which gives it a good like texture. Um, yeah so it's okay for me. I feel like I got the, the protein and some other things in here that are healthy and you know, it's okay to throw in some peanut butter. Um, I also got some chia seeds because these are really good just to throw in, have a little bit extra nutrients um, and they don't taste at all. It's just a good little supplement to throw in. And then for some sweetener, a little bit of syrup and to help it all stick together. Okay, to make these, I mean, there's not really a set measurement. I just kind of eyed it. it it's just all about like the texture. Um, you want it to be sticky enough that it's gonna stay together and not fall apart when you put it on the plate. Um, so I'm gonna add some stuff in, kind of mix it around, and I'll show you how it goes. Here we go. Okay, first I'm gonna start with protein powder because 
I don't know. That's just what I'm gonna do. So I am going to put in this much of the protein powder. Mm. It's gonna be some good chocolate chippy goodness in there. And then I am gonna do a good amount of peanut butter uh, because that's gonna help stick it all together. So I'm gonna get a good size glop. Spoonful. Let's be normal, Haley. And then I'm going to put in a little sprinkle of chia seeds. And a little bit of syrup just for that sweetness so it's not too bitter with the protein powder. And this is what we have. Doesn't look too appetizing right now, but don't worry, it'll be appetizing. Made 11 of these protein balls. Wow, that's really dumb that it ended up on an odd number. <laughs> I guess I could have made it even. Anyway, this is what they look like. Um, then I usually put them in the freezer to make them hard. So I'm just gonna place them right on our burritos and our turkey. I think they're ready. They're a little bit soft still, but I'm kind of impatient. All right, so let's see how they taste. Mmm. Ooh. That was a good batch. It kind of. Oh, it kind of tastes like a, like a truffle, kind of like a cold chocolate peanut butter truffle. Mm. so good so I think I'm going to throw them back into the freezer um, overnight to make them a little bit harder kind of like really hard like an ice cube and then I will put them in the fridge so that they still stay hard but they don't become like super frozen if that makes sense but yeah they should stay good as long as they stay in the fridge and I love just eating them whenever I need like a sweet snack or just I'm um, feeling snacky. They're peanut buttery enough that you don't want to eat too many, which is good, but yeah, mm, so good. If you make them, comment down below and let me know how they are, if you have any suggestions, if you like to add different things into your protein balls. Yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. That's Gerald, our neighborhood pigeon. He comes and stays by that light, which is by our door every night. It's because he loves us. Good night, Gerald.